Dropping like balls I'm a queen, I'm a queen, I'm a queen Show you that see what I did close up I took each paint I was gonna use then I put the hologram just a little bit on top to see how it was gonna look before I did it there is orange see that see the orange and the yellow and of course there's turned out orange there turned out orange there but there's green and a brown and then there's green a little bit of green her yellow looking in the red and then it turned out red in the dark and then mustard colored yellow. So you might want to do that before you use that to project look. We're gonna glue this on here, but it doesn't fit up to the top very well. I mean, it does, but just barely. So I'm gonna have to trim a piece off and put up there. And I'm gonna have to do that pretty much on all of them. So I made these pretty much longer so I could do that. So let's get this measured so I can cut a little piece off. And I think they're gonna look cute. I can just do this like that. And this is laying on its side, I didn't think about that, so hopefully that works out. And then put that there. And I'm using this in that Mod Podge because the Mod Podge is too watery and it will seep through the fabric. Okay. Put that there. And I'm just going to make sure it's heavy around the edges. And I'm putting the top on first. And I'm just going to swirl this to make sure sticks down good. I had to go to my daughter's and do my laundry, one of my daughters, because my washer started leaking all over the floor. It's like, why are you doing that to me? <laughs> but I'm just gonna get a new washer. We're just gonna get a new washer. I don't know when, so thankful for her. I mean, my other daughter probably let me do laundry there too, but I said, ask Paige and then go spend time with Kara. My other daughter, another day. Right. I'm just putting hits here because I can wrap that around. There, I'll probably just cut it off. That right there. Okay. I might even need to put it up there. Now wrap, wrap, wrap. What are we doing? We're doing a fray. I want to make sure it's wrapped and looks nice around both edges. Flat. See, and then just fold that up. I think that worked a lot better. Let's 
stick to the glue. Isn't that cute? I think it's cute. And then you just put like a little embellishment, whatever you want on it. That fray. I don't want the fray glued down though. I didn't want the fray glued down, but I think that is cute. That material looks good on a mushroom. All right, let me wash my hands. Okay, I'm gonna set this one aside and bring this one in. On this material, I think it looks cute. But again, I'm gonna need just a little piece for the top. And that looks like I'm taking it from over here. It comes in like this. You can get this at Joann's and then buy it by the bulk and it has all kinds of fabric just mixed together and it's all the same length and all the same inches, okay? But yeah, that's how I, where I get this stuff from because I can use it on different things and they have all kinds of different, what's the word, different designs together. All right, let's check the front. That needs to go down more. And this corner. I think they're so cute. I didn't know if they'd be cute, but I think they're cute. Oh, see, now the glue's coming off my finger and that's not cute. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to wash my hands. Then we'll move on to the next one. Okay. Again, just gonna have to trim a little piece off. Let's see. This is like a retro mushroom. <laughs> retro. And then, after everything dries, I'm not sure about the glitter one. I mean, I'm okay with the other ones, but that glitter one, I just don't know. Maybe I should've just done the whole thing in glitter instead of putting eggshells down. Thinking. This one I shaped a little bit, a little different at the bottom. I made the trunk longer, but I like it. And here's our fabric ones. I think they're cute. I hope you do too. And I'll be back. Okay, here's our mushroom collection. All right, I'm just gonna do one, and then I'll be back when these are dry. Mudge budge. And I just put one dab there. Then I'm gonna try to put it really light. I probably put too much there too. <laughs> Whoa! I forgot I had a big brush. And get that out of there. Okay. I especially want to do it around the eggshells. That's enough. I'm gonna do all these, and when they're all dry, I'll be back. Okay, beautiful beings, I'm showing you these four mushrooms because I wanted to show you the texture. 
before I glued down. Things glued down and this is fabric. And this thing, I'm not too sure about this, but I'm gonna try to save it. Okay, but I'm gonna use Artie Mae's little quotes and words. And I had to glue these on regular cardstock because I printed them out on just regular printer paper. But they didn't turn out because, not because I downloaded them from her, it's because I tried to shrink them and it made the words blurry. So I had to go over them with a black gel pen. Okay, this is what they should look like. Okay, when you download them, you can get them from her Etsy shop. So shout out to RT Maze. All right, so I just wanted to show you that. But I do want to use these up because they're still cute and you can still read them. Okay, beautiful beings, I wanted to show you. See these little pop-ups? You can get them from Dollar Tree. They come in this and you just clip off as much as you need off of them. Okay, and I took some of them these and I stuck them down on everything except that that one already had one I put one on that one and that one and that one and that one not the butterfly though I don't even know if it's gonna stick down I might have to glue that down because it's not gluing well onto the eggshells and glitter and I put one on this one and that one you just cut a little piece I don't know if I show you see and then stick it on there. I did add glue to them, even though they are sticky. I put more glue just so I, I knew they were gonna be glued down good and I put glue behind this wing. Okay, just wanted to show you that. Okay, beautiful beings, I'm gonna show you this. Hopefully I can do it right because I haven't really learned how to work this yet. Especially the hole puncher one, so I'm just gonna use this. Okay, that's got a little hole puncher in it. See that? And I'm gonna go right here. It's already marked. I had it sitting there. I'm gonna punch a hole like this. And I'm gonna take this little hole things. I can't remember what they're called. I'll put it when I edit the video. And I want this one on the top, and I want that one on the bottom, so it flattens that side. And this is, we are memory keepers. And that's what they're for, for these. And I'm gonna push hard to make sure the other side flattens down. And it worked. <laughs> okay, let's get these out of the way. Now, I'm going to, right, see this string? I'm going to separate it because I don't want it that thick. I want it thin, okay? I'm going to take my little charm. And I already put a hoop thing on it. And I don't know how long I want it. I just want to show you that part up close. Try to. Okay. And you can either put this through. I'm gonna pull that one out. Through the hole. And if you don't have one of those brats i think that's a no that's not a brat what is that called if you don't have those eyes i call them eyes i don't know what they're called you can always just use your hole puncher and make sure when you buy them you look because some are big and some are small this is a, this is a smaller one okay is it focusing you can punch a hole and then you can paint it okay 
You can either tie it like this. What I'm gonna do with mine, I want mine to hang about there. I'm just gonna glue it on the back. But you can loop it through one string, one string, and tie it up there if you want. But I just want mine to hang like that. So I'm gonna tie it. You can glue one of these down and put it in the back and you can make a bookmark, okay? Just glue that whole thing and glue it down. Make a bookmark out of it if you wanted to, okay? But I need to stick something on there because I'm not letting it dry because I'm trying to show you this. So I'm gonna take just a thin piece of scrap and put it there. now so it don't stick to my paper underneath so I can show you the next part okay now I'm gonna take this I took a leaf and glued it and I folded it to this and where are those at and these are from Park Lane from Joann's they're just little stickers bubble stickers I believe you call them okay and I took some paint and I went around it. And then I took Mod Bodge and put around it so it gave it a little shine. Okay. But I'm gonna put glue in here too, just so I know it won't come up. I just had it glued together, so. I just had it put together with the glue that was already on here. So they wouldn't get lost because a lot of my stuff gets lost on, my, on the table. All right, now I'm gonna fold this again, just a little bit. And I'm gonna put that right in the middle like that. Okay. And again, it's gonna take a while for the glue to set. Then I'm gonna put a little glue where I folded it there and then put glue over the back of it. And just enough, I don't want it to ooze through the leaf. I want it to glue. And I want it like up more. So you see the stem, I'm gonna stick that down like that. Okay. I think I want it down a little bit more. Right about there. All right, again, I put paint around it to hide those lines, because there's lines lines around it and then I put Mod Bodge over the paint when the paint was dry see it's goozing out and I got these and I think that needs an extra something oh, I was going to show you this the leaf, the leaf was on this and all I did on the vein and all I did was pull it pull the vein off and then you got a leaf okay Trying to make sure I remember everything <laughs> to show you. Then we're gonna put some of those down. It's berries. I forgot to tell you about that. The berries. Berry pick down at Dollar Tree for a garden. Okay. And they come in maroon too. Okay. So anyway, we're gonna. I want some berries. I wanted them down here. I'm just trying to hold that down. Until it gets our tacky, Elaine's tacky glue gets tacky. Right. Then we're gonna take the side that has that's showing the foam and glue that part down so you don't see it. We're just gonna keep pulling them off. and glue the foam part down that you can see. Put a dark one in the middle of there. Make sure you get the glue off. I'm gonna need another one up in there. Lopsided like in between, but not right there. 
See, we're moving this around because it's not gluing down. You should wait till it's glued down. But for the sake of this video, I can't wait because I need to show you and I don't want to keep pausing the video. Going there. Foam side down again. There. Darker one in there. Peel this stuff off again. And we'll take this one, I think. Down. Might even be able to fit another one in there. One more. Get this stuff out of there because I don't want that showing up. Alright. I can fit one more in there. Like right there. Have it going the other way. And this one, you can see the foam. So I'm turning it, and that's what that's gonna look like when it's dry. I will be back to show you. Okay, beautiful beings, it's dry. This is the eyelid, and you use the crocodile. It's the eyelid puncher and a puncher. Fastens eye, eye, eyelids, I keep wanting to call them eyes. But it sets them, okay? It flattens the back, okay? And I put a jump ring to connect a little trinket right there. And I put raffia in there. It was just laying on the table. So I stuck that in there. And I wanted to show you how to make a magnet or just a book marker. I would put glue on the side that you're not gonna glue down, just because sometimes these are flimsy, but I put glue here and let it dry. Then I glue the other side down, okay? Like this, and then you'd have a bookmark. You can use it for a bookmark. But if you wanted to use it for the fridge, you can get these dollars. These, you can get these dollars. You can get these magnets at Dollar Tree, and you just glue the clothespin off, on, and then you glue the magnet on the clothespin and I put it on the end. And this is Ella's, she forgot hers here. See how that works? And I used Elena's tacky glue to glue them both down. Okay, and it works great. And I'm gonna have to do a part three, but the part three is gonna be way faster. Okay, that way I can take my time and I don't have to keep skipping through the videos. Okay, so have a wonderful everything.